Yo, I promise I did not try to double dip y'all tonight, but we got two videos. Listen, I don't know how many times I've said it, but I'll continue to say it. Your comments lead to further content. Sometimes I read the most random things and those things lead me to just say, you know what? I can respond by leaving a comment or I can just talk to you, right? I can just open it up and I can bleed a little bit more. I typically end up thinking and speaking to myself or speaking aloud when I'm sending like a text message comment to you guys using the studio app. And then in some of those cases, I'm like, you know what? Nah, I just should go ahead and I should make a video, right? So here we go. All right, so this comment comes from a video I just shot probably 30 minutes ago, still on the channel. I'm probably gonna dump this up at the same time, okay? Uh, it's around 9.30 p.m., so I don't know. You might be seeing this in the morning. Um, but it comes from a subscriber that leaves uh, pretty regular uh, comments. This isn't a troll or anything in any way. You can see it. Um, it says, so, uh, which, he said watch TV, but which TV? The question is, which TV do you like more between the LG G4 and the S95D? All right, so we're going to actually focus just on that, um, as I will actually leave a text comment and now that I think about it, you're going to get this video tomorrow because it doesn't make any sense for me to uh, oversaturate the channel for tonight. Two videos in one night, even though you're seeing we make regular content like this on the fly. So keep talking. Um, you know, answering that question is just. All right. The purpose of this video is going to be this me just being straight to the point, talking to you. S95D is not for everybody. OK, OK. Um, let me just tell you, and I don't have any insider information as to the way Mr. Samsung or Mrs. Samsung or the Samsung family thinks or what their plans are for their products. Um, just speaking as an intelligent consumer, as someone who's really consistent in this game, um, I think what Samsung has done, and I've, I've pretty much said this before, but what they've done this year is that they've created a level of segregation to try to appeal to everybody, right? Uh, I think they put the pinnacle OLED TV to appeal to the masses. Biggest opportunity with traditional OLEDs of all kind before S95D has been glare. Don't care who you are, what your credentials are. I'm just talking about real-time TV watches usage. It's been that way forever. Like just a ton of glare. And if you're not able to really focus in on your picture, if you're not purposeful with creating the right room environment, uh, dialing in the lighting, the 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 dialing back the natural lighting, blinds, etc. Then you're gonna have that. And so here we are with S95D, which pretty much has some type of iteration of like a coating that's similar to the Samsung frame, right? That's a whole different iteration or LED uh, QD. It's a quantum dot LED series of TVs that they have that look like a picture frame that you can buy a bezel around and. You know, the idea behind it is that you can watch the TV in virtually any indoor lighting setting. It's not an outdoor TV. So you put it outside with direct light on it. You're not going to be able to see the TV, but any realistic in-house light scenario, you're going to be able to see the TV much more clearly without the reflections that you get from your traditional uh, LCD TV. OK, and so the same with OLED. OLED TVs are going to have some type of reflection. Um, depending on when you're watching the TV or where it's at, okay? Now, there's a trade-off. This trade-off isn't really talked about because the flaws that I just talked about of an OLED are never talked about either. In fact, it's not something that you want to point out because once you point it out, then people start to see, oh, yeah, you're right. You're kind of right. I never thought about that. Um, <clears throat> and the reason behind this is because an OLED has such a beautiful presentation for what it's offering you. You get pixel level perfect blacks. It's never happened. And under any circumstances have we ever had this until we had it. And so um, now you have a company that's actually trying to just offer something different, which, believe it or not, I think it's really going to become more of a mainstream thing. I think we'll get to the point where other companies may try it. I don't know. I, I don't have anything invested to say that I know this for a fact. But what I'll say is that I got the S95D in a 55 inch. So. Knowing me, just the people that have watched me enough, you know, I've got multiple 77s. Once I made the jump to 77 three years ago with the C1, um, that was kind of it. Like any prime time must watch or, or have to have for TV television was going to be that size. Um, 22, obviously the best TV out, A95K 
only came in 65 inch and 55 inch because Samsung displays didn't dis didn't produce a 77 inch of that TV. So that's why 22 was pretty much a drought. It was you, you're getting 65 inch or you're getting smaller. Um, you know, but 23, hey, Samsung display came out with Gen 2 QD OLED panel. So then we, of course, got A95L. We, of course, had the G3. And we, of course, had the S95C as well as the best value, which was the S90C. Uh, so let's just think about this for a minute. In 2023, your absolute best TV, we're talking when we say you, Samsung, your best TV, your flagship dominant TV is actually second to your number two. And it's second for a lot of logical reasons. It's second because most people that are uh, purists in the home theater space are not concerned about what kind of quality of sound you have on your TVs. It, it, not to say that it's not worth talking about with reviews, but for the majority people, even if you're not enthusiast level, most people are not focused on it because most customers are going to purchase at least a soundbar in any type of any type of audio device that gets the audio projected towards you is going to be better than back or south firing speakers no matter what good how good the TV is okay so you eliminate that from the S95C in 2023 because the S90C and the S95C essentially in 77 inch have the same picture panel they have the same quality right okay so let's remove the one connect box because to be honest with you it's a flaw <laughs> It doesn't offer you anything except for aesthetics. So unless you're looking for a certain kind of uh, install, if you got any type of professional installers that can do custom work, they can make the S90C fit into a wall and, and, and come out to be even thinner than what the S95C because the S95C has a one panel, one frame design like a G3, uh, whereas the S90C does actually have a thinner panel. And if you got custom work done on the wall to kind of make it flush, it looks even better, okay? Um, add to the fact that that's my cat or one of my cats at look at this guy. What the hell are you doing? Okay. Yeah. Um, so add to the fact that, um, uh, beyond that, you know, it, it costs less. I mean, it costs less. So you don't need the audio, <clears throat> excuse me. You don't need the audio. You don't care about the, this proprietary design technology and you, you, you're actually getting the same panel technology essentially. And then lastly, you're cheaper. So your number two comes out to be actually your number one in the grand scheme of things for the consumer, the, the, the vast majority of people that's buying your TV. I would love to see some kind of studies, but I'm pretty sure that, sorry about that. I'm pretty sure that the S90C probably outsold the S95C. I'm, I mean, it's just such a logical thing. Like, I mean, for all the different things we just talked about. So again, asking me the question, what's better, the S95D or the G4? And, and again, not going into the other things that the gentleman was asking me about, which I'll address that dur during a text message for the sake of this video. I don't look at the G4 and the S95D to be in the same um, category at all for myself as a consumer, as the consumer. Um, the S95D is a welcome addition for gaming, in my opinion, just the matte screen and what it offers, I think is really good. Um, because for me being the type of gamer that I am, I can focus more on the right things that I need to focus on. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I could not imagine. And this is why I don't have a 77 inch S95D. Listen, guys, you know, I made the prior video talking about what I do with my TVs and what type of consumer I am to try to help you. If you're interested in seeing that, check it out. The video before this, just go check it out. It's a talking video, but you know, I think it answers a lot of questions. I'm not in this game just to buy every TV, to try every TV. There's a lot of TVs that come out, man. They're just not going to come through me because I haven't developed the relationships yet. The more I grow in this field, the better my connections come, the better my connections comes, the more content I can review, the more I can become interested in buying into things. Uh, but right now for me, every display has a certain space and S95D just isn't in the space for me to want to compare to a G4. I don't have a G4 right now to show you because I'm not buying it in 55, 65 or 77. I'm waiting for the 83 inch. I want the biggest because I'm ready to see what it can offer me as being like the grand TV for me today, right? And so saying that, I don't think there's anything better that can offer me that. So S95D definitely is not at, not in any size, not in any um, shape of the word, 
does it uh, compare for me? So hopefully that answers you that. And uh, I will be bringing you some more S95D content. Um, I just took a little bit of break, you know, just got a lot of other things going on. And so it's a great TV, but it's not the TV that really needs to be compared to everything because it's just different. Like it's OLED, it's QD OLED, it's Gen 3, but it's different. I have a Gen 3 monitor in front of me here, a Gen 3 monitor in, in that white and blue arcade cabinet. Those are the panels to talk about, right? The S90D is the panel to talk about. Can't justify buying it because the C4 comes in the smaller size and that's of that echelon of what i want to compare g4 is definitely it unless i hear something from sony g4 is definitely the way to go but that's my thoughts on the s95d what do you think leave some comments let's have some engagement who knows your comment might lead to another video being made like this if you like this leave a thumb up i'm gonna catch you guys on the next video peace god bless and as I always say man max love we out